Hello everybody, Matthew Armstrong here on day 40 of this 100 day challenge to create financial freedom. Day 40, it's a milestone. I'm celebrating with a glass of water. Cheers. Mm. You know, I like to keep things as simple as possible. Uh, and it was Einstein that actually said, make things as simple as possible, but not simpler. And I guess what he means by that is, you make sure it works. If you make things too simple, then they might not work. But make things as simple as possible, but not simpler. And if that comes from Einstein, then it's probably worth listening into that one, you know? So I make things simple. You know, when someone comes to me with health challenges, I ask them simple questions like, you know, how much water did you drink a day? Drink more water, right? You know, maybe you want to grab a glass of water right now. Drink more water. People tell me they've got low energy. Like, drink more water. Take deep breaths. I actually look at them and say, take a few deep breaths and get them to breathe. And I'm like, okay, well, that's, you're not breathing correctly. That's why you've got no energy. That's why, you know, you're, you're feeling tired. That's why you're feeling sick because your cells aren't getting oxygenated. You know, that's, that's in the sort of health arena. Just, just keep it simple, you know. Um, with, with Empire Network, people say, well, how do you do this? I can't do this. It's too much trouble. It's too much, you know, to build this online business, to, you know, create financial freedom online. People think it's, it's too difficult. And yeah, if you want to go through the trial and error sort of way, reinventing the wheel, then sure, it's, it's, it can be difficult. And I've learned the hard way, believe me. You know, I've, there's been times when I just wanted to pick my laptop up and just chuck it out the window or smash it off the wall or just break it over my own head. You know, <laughs> I've got so frustrated with things online because I'm a complete technophobe. Simp things that are simple to an eight-year-old on the computer, I just kind of pull my heart out and just can't do them, you know? And um, so I, I need things to be simple for me. And that's what I find with Empire Network. It's simple. But even I find with, with, with people even within my team who are, who are joined, joined, still trying to overcomplicate things. And it's not complicated. It's very, very simple. You know, as, as David Wood said in the, uh, in the Empire Network events in Chicago, 5,000 people there, you know, and this 12-year-old kid, he brings up on stage who had made $12,000 in four months being in Empire Network. And David Wood said, you know, so what do you do? You know, how, how do you make $12,000 in four months? And the boy said, well, I, I just, you know, message people on Facebook. And he goes, yeah, that's it. And he goes, yeah, I blog. I blog and I message people on Facebook. Uh, and he says, and what, what do you, what do you, um, you know, what do you send in the message? And he says, well, I send people to the video. So he sends people to the Empire Network video. He says, you mean you just tell people to go and watch the video? You know, David Woods kind of just, you know, kind of slight like tongue cheek showing this. You mean you just tell people to go and watch the video? And he's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, that's all you do. That really, that's all you got to do to, um, to be successful in Empire Network. Simplify it. This is as simple as possible. Is you get people to watch the video. You don't need to be a great communicator or salesperson or um, have technical skills or, you know, um, have developed internet marketing skills over a year, anything like that. Empower Network is something that everyone can do, and that's why it's called Empower Network, because it empowers you. You know, the, the trainings in there are simple, and you do become empowered, because you see that you can actually do stuff online, and you can actually make it happen, um, if you just get out of your own way. You know, so many people are actually, they're in their own way. Just, just, ah, clear out all the junk that, you know, you kind of build up there, and just, just do it. You know, just, just do it. Just send people to watch the video. And, and that's, that's what you do. It's, it's very, very simple, right? And it, it is empowering, especially when you start seeing these big commissions coming in. You're like, wow, that's amazing. And then when you see you know, people in your team starting to make money as well, that's pretty cool too. So yeah, make things as simple as possible. I get this with you know, time management. You know, some, some, some people say that one of the keys to success is time management. And I, I definitely would you know, agree with that from one perspective. Um, so with time management, I remember I wanted to manage my time better, and so I bought this course on time management from this personal development guru. It cost me quite a lot of money, and there's a lot to it, you know, it was like, like a university course on time management. And I was like totally overwhelmed, I'm like, this is really complex, you have all these different coloured coordinated stickers that you stuck on different things, you connect them together to do different things at different times, it's like, God, this is taking up so much time, you know? So for some people it might work for them, but for me, I have a simple mind. I need to make things simple. So it didn't work for me. Um, but what did work for me was, um, I remember being at a Bob Proctor event, and, and Bob was up on stage, and Bob says, uh, 
you know, he says, people ask me about time management. How do I manage my time? He says, he says, he says time management is, is an illusion. He says, you can't manage time. Time is just there. It's just constant. It's just going, you know? Um, you know, everyone's caught up in this time thing, right? You know, everyone's got 24 hours in a day. You can't manage it. You can't manage time. He says, I just write things down and then I do them. And for me, it's, it was just so simple, but it just clicked and I went, really? Wow, okay. You just write things down and then you do them. And uh, th then I, I, I listened to a thing from, I read a thing from Dale Carnegie where he said that he went in to coach some, um, you know, huge, uh, multi, multi, multi million dollar company. And he's, he's, he's uh, coaching the CEO or the owner of the company. And he just gave him one simple thing. The guy's a bit overwhelmed. He wasn't making progress with his company. He was kind of become stagnant. He says, and Dale says to him, he says, just write down your six highest priority action steps every single day and then do them. And he says, if you don't get all six done, just say you get four done. There's two left. He says, make those the two things you do first next day and then four on top of that. So, you, so you're never putting anything off. So you're constantly getting everything done. That was the main tip he gave him that day. And six months later, the guy called him up and he says, he says, that thing you, you uh, said to me, he says, it's just gonna make me an extra few million dollars, which you know, I wasn't making. For, so when I started doing that, my company, this happened, this happened, I made an extra few, few, few million dollars. He says, I wanna pay you what, what that was worth to me. And he, he paid him 100 grand, simply for that coaching session, he paid him 100 grand for it, because that's how much it was worth to him. And so, you know, these, these videos that, that I'm making right here, you know, it's, it's free for you to watch them. Um, but this is, a, this is a tip right now that could make you a, a millionaire. This one thing, your six highest priority action steps. Simple, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, bop, 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 whatever they are. So just you know, write that at the top of your diary or top of a page every single morning or night before you go to bed and just say, okay, my six highest, highest priority action steps for today are, and then write them out. You know, what's going to you know, give you the, the biggest return in your business? You know, what are the highest income producing activities you can do that day? You know, what needs to, what needs to get done? You know, what's going what's gonna to bring you the biggest returns? You know, write those down. Highest priority action steps every single day. You know, one of them could actually just be taking care of your, your health, you know, because our health and our energy is important. One of them could be an hour of exercise every day. Um, you know, your highest priority action steps every day. And these, these are things that you aren't doing already. It's not things that already have. It's brushing your teeth isn't one of them, you know. Um, I mean, you should always brush your teeth. You know, so your six highest priority action steps every single day, and just write that down and do them. And just say you only get four of them done, those two there become number one and number two the next day. That means you're getting them all done. And you know, that will start rapid progress happening in your life. So you know, do that one. You know, don't, don't worry about too much about time management. Get your six highest priority action steps, get focused on them, clear out all the distractions, focus and just do them, and make it happen. Make it happen. So that's, that's time management for, for me now, is uh, you know, I, I just focus on these six things every day and I just get them done. And usually get them done in a you know, number of hours and then that's it, you know? Um, there's different things you can do. Uh, distraction. You know, we all actually need distraction. Just, just lastly to finish up, we all need distraction. Um, we can't just be focused all the time or else we just burn out, you know, if we're, if we're always focused. And uh, we, we burn out. We actually do need some distraction. But here's another here's another key. Let me just turn the fan. It's getting really hot. Here's another key. The reason that most people are unfulfilled in their life is because of the amount of time they spend in distraction. Distraction could be um, could be socializing, could be watching TV, um, could be just you know just zoning out, right? Um, could be playing video games, could be just you know having a few beers at the bar, um, could be eating, you know. Uh, whatever we distract ourselves with, could be just like surfing mindless stuff on the web or 
or whatever, you know, or reading a trash novel, and that's that's distraction. And there's people have different people have different things, you know. So you know, it's how much time you spend in distraction will will tell you if you're living a fulfilled or unfulfilled life. So if you're spending, you know, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 percent of the time in distraction, which, which a lot of people are, a lot of people spend. You know, between 30 and 80 percent of their time in distraction, and wonder why they're unfulfilled in their life. Too much time in distraction. If you're watching four hours of TV a night, it's too much time in distraction, and you're not going to be totally fulfilled. Um, so it's been worked out that anything more than 20 percent of your time in this in distraction, you will actually live, starting to live an unfulfilled life. But between 10 and 20 percent of time in distraction, a couple of hours a day, maybe maximum, uh, just been distracted by something, watching a movie or, you know, I don't know, whatever you want to do, and spend that time in distraction, and then you're, you're going to be good, you know, but any more than 20%. So look at your life, and where is your distractions happening? Because, you know, some people have said to me, I don't have the time to do this, to do this, to do this, and well, I said, well, how much time do you watch TV? Like, right? well, I actually watch four hours of TV, or, you know, how much time do you spend, uh, you know, out socializing in cafes and whatever with your friends every week? Well, so many hours, you add these things up, I said, that's all distraction. You know, cut that down. Sure, we need some of that. You know, we're not robots, but, but often we're doing too much of it. You know, so we've got to be a little bit disciplined with ourselves and find out what's really important in our life. What's really important in your life? When you know what's really important, those six highest priority action steps will kind of take care of themselves. Um, write them out every single day. In six months' time, your life will never be the same again. Once you start doing that, Six months from now, your life will completely transformed. So you know, and then you can contact me, and you can uh, you know uh, pay me whatever you think it's worth. Just joking, right? But join the team, and uh, let's just do it together.